Hi everybody, it's Tom from FindTheBestCarPrice.com. If you're familiar with the Buick Enclave, you might know that the cargo capacity here in the rear area is 23.5 up to 50.2 cubic feet. Well, today I'm going to give it to you in inches. We're going to show you everything as far as the width, the height, the depth, and we're going to show you with these seats up, with the middle row seats up, and with everything folded flat so we maximize cargo capacity. When it comes to the overall width of the rear door, and obviously this is going to change a little bit because of the direction of the body and the way everything kind of comes in, but down here in the rear area, or the lower area I should say, we are looking at 43 inches from the opening on one side to the opening on the other. And what about the height of the opening of this door? We're going to call that 31 inches just because of the fact that the roof line right here kind of goes down at an angle just a little bit. And as far as the depth goes, we're looking at, well, just a tick under 24 inches as far as having these rear seats up. but. You can lower the rear seats right here. This is how you do that in case you're wondering. Let's see if I can do that one-handed. So we're going to lower those seats down and give you the next measurement. And keep in mind, if you put both seats down here in the rear seating area, you're going to have some variations to that. If you butt something up against the rear seats in the middle row area that are still in the upright position, you're going to end up with about 56 inches. But obviously, you have the pass-through right there so something that could fit through that area, well, you can obviously move that further forward. And much like with these middle row seats, the front row seats can move back and forth a little bit, and that will determine how much space there is. But from where everything is set right now, we are looking at 86 inches as far as the depth of the cargo area. And that gives you the information as far as your accurately given cargo capacity. A lot easier to understand than cubic feet when you give that information in inches and now you have that. To learn more about the model in today's video, visit the link in the description for a detailed comparison between trims and pricing for the vehicle we featured or any vehicle you may be interested in. These pages feature information such as our recommended trim level based on price, value, and features. Thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. We look forward to seeing you next time.